about how did I start my kitty spa and where did I get the idea from and how did I put everything together to open it up. So stay tuned and keep on watching if you want to find out the details. All right, so as y'all can see, I am in my garage right now. Um, it's kind of too noisy in my house to record a video and early today I didn't really have that much time. Um, I took like a nap. And I had to do something with my older son. So I'm in my garage. As y'all can see, the it's not painted yet. I think I talked about this in my, um, we opened up a kitty spa. I think it was in that video what I talked about the garage being done. And it wasn't, you know, painted all the way. So that's what you see in my background. So we're just going to go ahead and get into the video. So I um, want to say in 2000 and I want to say last summer, my sister took my two daughters. Um, she had said she had a surprise for them. So she took them um, to this mall. I'm not going to say what location and, you know, put where we went to, but I will put the name of the shop right here that we went to. So we end up going there and it was a kitty spa and they had their own chairs and they got their little feet done. Um nails polished they had little rings and they wore their little robes and stuff and that was in i want to say june so you know i took pictures sent pictures to my boyfriend he had liked the idea so once we came down here as for many of y'all might not know i am in south carolina so he said well let's open you know the same thing that they have up there down here so i was just like okay well you know, thought he was playing around and stuff. So he said that he was serious. So. Once we had started, you know, doing our um, research, you know, on the store, we start calling around to different other states that also had the same um, kitty spa or the same thing that was going on. We looked at their prices, their names, um, menus. We called around and asked if they had to have um, cosmetology license or nail tech license. And most of them said yes, some of them said no. It depends on your state. So that would be number one that you can write down. Um, I will, like I had in my last video, a checklist of what you can go by if you want to open up your kitty spa. So number one is check to see if your state requires a cosmetology license or a nail tech license. So you will want to do that before anything. After you do that, then, and, you know, step two, you can research all, um, doesn't even have to be in your state. Like I said, we called out of state. I want to say we called Atlanta, we called New Jersey. Um, I want to say North Carolina. We did go on a couple of websites that did have the kitty spa and we looked around. So yes, you do want to, I think I'm on number three. I'm not sure, but if not, I will, you know, like I said, I will list everything below. I didn't have time to write it down this time, but yes, you are want to go and go ahead and start calling and researching other kitty spas just to look at their prices so you can base your prices or you know, how do they do things or um, what else they had. They had like, some of them had contracts and you just can call and ask to speak with the manager and they will give you information about it. Um, next thing that you wanna do is write down, once you have spoken to the different kitty salons, you wanna write down, okay, what do you need to start? So, of course, you're going to need money. And in our situation, we had got a loan to start with. So, our loan had basically paid for all our supplies, advertisement, and this and this and that. So, if you, I want to say, 
if your credit score, let's get on that. If your credit score is not good enough to apply for a loan, you probably can start off small or if you want to set up a GoFundMe account or ask family members, you can do that because you're going to need money for your supplies. So what we did was we found a place and I think that was in my video that we opened up a kitty spa. If you haven't gone and watched that, you can go ahead and do that after this video. And I will link that below too so you can watch that video. It show you, you know, when we got the keys and how it looked before we painted and did all the changes and stuff. So we end up finding this spot next to a nail salon that I do get my nails done from. We found them. Um, I ended up calling them. We did an application. We had to do two applications, which were $200 each. We did those applications, we turned in our tax returns, and we had got approved. Um, I want to say it took like a week or two weeks before we had got approved for the space. So once we got approved for the space, we already had our loan. So that's already out the way. Once we got that, and you don't, let me just say right now, you don't have to get a loan to start. You can um, do out of pocket, which we didn't go that route, even though we both were still working you know, our regular job, our nine to five, but you don't have to get a loan or if some, if you can't get qualified for a loan, you can do things out of pocket if you're still working your 95. So once we got that done, then we started making our list. We made our, um, we got our list. We started writing down, okay, what do we need? We need furniture for them to sit on. We need uh, foot baths. We decided that we was going to start off with the foot baths first instead of the jets just to see how business go first. And then we said, okay, well, we need chairs for them to sit in. Now, the throne chairs are um, pretty much a little bit high. I know some people rinse them out, but in order for you to get your own, they are pretty high. That will be in my ebook, and I will tell y'all where we are going to order ours from and how much it costs. Um, so yeah, those is high. So we end up going with these chairs that I will post, you know, the video right here or a picture right here of our chairs that we have. So we got them. Um, then we started working on, um, receptionist desk, chairs, supplies, nail polish, removers, you know, towels, gloves and stuff like that. So we had our list. Once we got our list done, it came up to about, I want to say about 300. I just threw that paper away the other day too, but I want to say it was about 300. And that's just, that wasn't including our chairs and stuff because our chairs came up to, I want to say about $800. It was like seven something, almost $800. So with our chairs included, everything came up to about 1500. And that's just to start off. So we wanted to get it painted. Uh, we have our uh, pink, white, and gold in the shop. Um, my boyfriend has a friend that has his own painting company. So he charged us the square footage, which is $1,250. So we paid $1,250 to get our shop painted. And then he has another friend that worked on floors. We paid $800 to get our floors buff. So once we did that, We went on Vista Print. Everybody know what Vista Print is. We got our flyers made. Um, we had a thousand made for it wasn't that much. It was like a thousand made for like seventy-eight dollars, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. Like I said, I would put everything below of what we got, and hopefully I can remember how much everything was or where we got it from. So, yes, you want to make your list of all the supplies that you're going to need. Please include your advertisement or whatever other things you want to do to your shop, which is, you know, painting, getting your floors clean. Um, I want to say we looked into, we got Wi-Fi with AT&T, and we also had our pest control. We started a pest control for the shop to come in because once we got the shop, the shop has been vacant for a while. I want to say uh, probably a year, I believe. And we've seen a lot of spiders. So we had pest control come in. They sprayed everything down. So at this point, we already, you know, the floors is waxed. The floors is done. The paint is done. 
everything is ready for us to put our furniture in and start, you know, advertising. So, so you're going to want to get your paperwork done. So now you have to write up liabilities. So we wrote them down and I will post a picture up here of one of our sheets. I'm not going to post all. We do have uh, let me see. We have the liability sheet. We have the COVID one. Um, what else we have? We have a minor um, photo. So, you know, the parents have to sign to give our permission to take their picture and to post them up on our page. And we also have like a, a rule page. So we got four pages and all for everyone to sign um, your liability page. You want to list everything that no one can sue you for because a lot of people do like to sue for any and everything being that you're working with kids so i think one of our one of our rules on there is saying that we don't use any chemicals other than the nail polish and the polish movers we don't clip any fingernails toenails we don't file anything we're not going to be responsible for you know anybody you know that saying they cut themselves or we cut them but we just only polishing and taking off that's all we're doing we also put in liability, um, being that our furniture costs a lot. Um, your kids cannot be jumping or kicking or standing on our furniture. If anything breaks, we will charge that parent card. So when I say we're going to charge their card, in order for you to book an appointment with us, you have to leave um, a deposit down. So you have to pay a deposit, and that's, that's by card only. So that card is on file. So that person has to sign. This is all in our liability. You can put it however you want, what kind of rules that you want to put down. If you want to get insurance, you can get insurance. Uh, we haven't gone that route yet about the insurance just yet. We still are looking around for like the rates and stuff, perfect rates for the insurance, but you do want to have everything in your liability sheet so everybody know. Make sure you have the COVID so they can check off things. Now, that I am going to say, um, I did thought about having them wear a mask. And right now, we don't have them wear masks and I don't wear masks. But then I was thinking, okay, maybe I need to wear a mask. Uh, I know Amazon has some pink masks that I was thinking of ordering. So, I might just start wearing masks myself and they won't have to wear masks but we still have them do a COVID um checkoff list let me see i'm trying to think of any more things um for how if you want how to like how you know how we started um we're gonna get yes into the advertisement so what we did was we started putting our flyers we took them to daycares um we took them to schools we put them around people cars we did people mailbox and then of course we had facebook page instagram so we did all of that as well we let family members know friends know about the shop um once everything was done and then we started planning our grand opening and for that you can i'm gonna say your grand opening, we did take some clients that day, but for your grand opening, which is a, I want to say a little mistake that we did, we didn't have everything in order. So like, for example, when we have our birthday parties, we do write our itinerary out and we email it to the parents. So we let them know, hey, come 15 minutes early so you can sign your paperwork and then, you know, it lets them know, okay, so, party start at 12 or 1 we're gonna say one party start at 1 okay 1 o'clock we're gonna have them seated with their aprons on if they're gonna start painting at 1 painting ends at 120 then we start hand washing once it's the hand washing is done then we go into the pedicures and then from there we go to you know the manicures and all that stuff and they can take pictures or they can eat saying happy birthday and all that stuff so I want to say we started in December we opened up in December and we've been booked every Saturday and I want to say we had since December we had three parties for each month two between two and three parties each month 
since we opened and every saturday we are booked we are busy every saturday um i think since we opened up i had one saturday one free saturday but they seem to like the parties um we're going to be adding more to our um website of different parties and stuff like that well we actually did we already just got our brochures out which is another thing you can write down like i said i don't have my book with me but i will write down all the steps that you need and i will put it here and i'll list them below just for anybody that needs any help i had someone comment and she said that she was trying to open up a kitty spa but didn't know where to start so yes i will link that below and like i said i am working i'm working on my first ebook so the one with the kitty spot that's gonna come i want to say it's gonna come out in may between the end of may and the beginning of june because it's a lot that we that we did to open up this shop it was an overnight um it was an overnight thing like we just thought of it out the blue but it did take a lot of work for us to even start so right now um it's me and my aunt and my boyfriend my boyfriend he's still working so he been in the shop i think we had like one party if it was like a big party on a sunday and it's me and my aunt so far so we don't have any employees right now but like i said we are booked most of the time most of the week and every saturday we always book so that you know it splits up the time but having your customers um be based on appointment it kind of helps out we're not doing walk-ins right now we don't do walk-ins just because we don't have enough staff to do the walk-ins but it's you know if you want to open up your salon it's you know um up to you how you want to do walk-ins or appointments i like the appointments better because that way the person that's coming in for the appointments don't have to worry about other people um being around them or in a little section or any little party so we do by appointment so i don't know how long this video is but i'm trying to give all the details and everything else um i'm not sure if i talked about our supplies everything that we got was from amazon um trying to think we got stuff from other places we got little stuff from other places like tj maxx um, i want to say five below but most of our stuff came from Amazon and I'm not sure if we got anything from Walmart, but I want to say most of it came from Amazon. Um, all of our items and stuff like that will be in the ebook or I still have that where we got our chairs from, the link to our reception desk, all of that will be in the ebook for y'all to get. And it would just tell you and go into more in depth of what you need to have or what credit score you need to have to be able to go for um, commercial properties and what um, income that you need to have. I know when we did our application, they said our income had to be twice the amount, which is why we did a co-application. So we put both our incomes together, gave our tax returns and all that stuff, and we just got approved and stuff. So I don't know how long... Um, let me see i don't know how long it would take for someone if they do have that question or how long would it take for me to you know help open my shop it's up to you like i said once you call around to other places and you know figure out if you're going to need a license that is another thing um if you need a license then uh don't recommend you open up a shop right at this moment because then you would have to go to school some people um would do the i think the cosmetology is like it depends on different states between 1300 1500 hours which i think that's like a whole year or nine months of schooling or you can just go for a nail tech and i think that's about uh 90 days i believe 90 or 100 days something like that but it's, it's short about three three months or something in order for you to get your nails your nail tech license so um it all depends on what state you in your requirements and stuff like that but i would do say um you want to make sure that you're licensed first before you try to go in there if you are require a license 
and then you can start looking around i wouldn't start off with a bigger space um our space is 1250 square feet and we got lucky with that space because in our area is really nothing around here or nothing that's a little bit decent or nice to even have a little kitty spot so we did um get lucky with that we also got lucky because the owners wanted us to sign a three to five lease but we told them being that it's a new business we didn't want to do a three to five lease so they did work with us on a 12 month lease and we pay property we pay property taxes on that um section as well so it's like a suite it is one two it's four suites but it's three business one of the business have two of the two of the suites and then it's a nail salon and then we are at the end with the kitty nail salon so like i said it's pretty um you know everything is not hard to start off you just need the resources and you need the money um don't let nobody tell you oh well, i started my business off with zero dollars or fifty dollars you're need you're gonna need money to start this business because you're gonna need the supplies and you're gonna need money to advertise you're gonna need money for your space your security deposit you're gonna need money so um like most of these people on youtube they do they will lie to you and tell you that they didn't use money or needed anything to start you will need money to start whether it's a loan from somebody or you getting money from somebody else you do need money to start or as some people they while they're opening their business they are still working and have other people working in there for them like family members and stuff like that but yes you do need money to start so i want to say that wraps it up of everything that we did to start our kitty spa like i said where we got the inspiration from the business is called inspiration from the business is called glitter and glam and they are in new jersey i will put their name down here and y'all can go ahead and check them out i will also link their website down below as well so you can get the idea of how we came up with ours i'm trying to see what else that we did um i can't remember the shops that we called in north carolina and atlanta but glitter and glam that is one of those um that's the one that my sister took my two daughters to so we started getting ideas from them so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video